channel. I'm just like, we're back. Hello. <laughs> back in action. Welcome back to my channel. This is Crystal, and this is my best friend, Alexa. <laughs> my everything in life. She's finally here after like one or two years, however long I've been doing YouTube, but she watches all my videos and likes them all for me so I get more algorithm views. Today is a special day because she came to me and was like, Crystal, I followed your tutorial. <laughs> the one most of you guys are here from, the how to make a dupe of the Z Gallery painting, the sparkle painting. So she was such a good friend and she followed my tutorial and she made one herself. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See how this turns So out. this is what she made. <laughs> this looks exactly... Yeah. Well, it actually went the other way. Oh, this is not even the right side up. <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> oh, that's how you meant to paint. Yeah. <laughs> And I tried three times. Oh, third time was You got not some good charm. texture in here. Oh, wait, this is a good highlighter. Hold on. Yeah, You're scrubbing. You got some texture in here. Yes. You just needed to blend it all together. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is, uh, blending gone bad. <laughs> she is artistic and dancing, and she dances for everyone, by the way. She's kind of a professional dancer. Uh, kind of amazing. I wish. I was as amazing and flexible as her, but you are. Paintbrushing <laughs> is maybe not her skill. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so I thought it was. It used to be. <laughs> she, second grade. She tried. <laughs> and um, that is why she's here. <laughs> I am yeah. going to help her fix this. So I'm going to send her home and. She's gonna come back and it's gonna be exactly what she wanted. We're gonna do a little bit of a different take on my Z Gallery painting, which this is not the dupe of. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not even out. close. <laughs> We're gonna do another configuration of a sick sparkle painting that I think you'll like and it'll go with your apartment really good. This is a good size though. Right? Uh, did something right. <laughs> Let's get a close up. Uh, oh. Take it. <laughs> so I'm going to send her off and then we'll see her back at the end when she has a finished fabulous painting. Can't wait. No, I love you. Sorry, Sorry. I'm an asshole. I love you. I'm gonna start prepping Alexa's painting and I'm gonna use a little uh, brush and I'm just going to brush off all the sparkles, the excess, so it doesn't get mixed in with what I'm trying to do to it next. So I know most of my subscribers and the people who are following me now are probably from my Z Gallery painting I did like a year or so ago and that's how this channel took off. I had a bunch of people write me, DM me, and ask me to make paintings for them because they didn't feel like they could do it. So I started making paintings for other people. It was a lot of fun and then I expanded my artistic creativity. So I started making different kind of sparkle paintings. This one has the texture on the top some sparkle, and then just regular um, pearl paint on the bottom. Alexa is obsessed with this one. I haven't finished this one yet, but she's obsessed with how it is coming along. So I told her I was going to make her a painting that would be the colors of her apartment, which are silver and white and some hints of blue. She was obsessed with the one I obviously did, so it's going to be in the same color family as that. So I was at Michael's, and that day it was a little understaffed, just a little, and there was no one really to talk to. Everyone was just at the register. There was no person who totally knew about texture or what mediums to use to make certain things in painting. So I was just scouring the aisles, and this is what I came up with. I know it sounds so weird, but snowman texture. 
<laughs> it has like a white base paint already in it. And then I guess it has like sand granules in it. But I put it on my painting and it has amazing texture and hasn't come off. And it was a great base for the top part of the painting. And I was able to paint over it. So that is how I'm going to start Alexa's painting with the snowman texture. <laughs> so let's get started on that. I put a big glob of the snowman texture on the top of the painting and I'm just working it around. I'm using a plastic disposable knife and you have to just keep working it in, squishing it down and get it to your desired texture and your desired thickness and just keep working it out. Now on the bottom part of the canvas I'm using acrylic white paint as kind of like a base um, primer for the next color just to even it out and I am applying it with a foam brush. So now I have this warm pearl really pretty gloss acrylic paint and I'm using a coarse brush to put it on up and down strokes because with the pearl your brush strokes will show so that also adds some depth and excitement to your painting. I'm applying the same paint to the top snowman texture part now it's dried and I am stippling it in getting in all the nooks and crannies of the texture and this one won't really show the brush strokes so you just got to kind of work it in. Now that I let the texture dry and the coat of paint down here dry, it's been a day, um, I'm going to start with the zigzag pattern. I'm going to be using a silver metallic paint and then this little fan brush for right now. Um, I'm just going to kind of lay out the pattern I want it to be. We're going to go back with sparkles and then we're probably going to go back with more of this later. But if you mess up, don't worry about it. Just keep building on it. You can always paint over that with this color paint. If you don't like how it turned out, it can be fixed. Do not worry. We don't really need to paint any of this silver because we are going to be putting sparkles over top of it and it'll just be a waste of paint. So I'm using a fan brush that's extremely thin and I'm taking itty bitty bits of paint and using vertical up and down motions and just kind of working it into that texture. So, after the silver paint has dried, I'm going to put my Mod Podge, still can't say it after a year, sorry, um, <laughs> I'm going to put my Mod Podge and then put some silver sparkles on. I have really fine grain ones and I have thicker grain ones. Um, for the middle, I'm going to do the thicker ones and then on the edge and the more detailed, I'm going to do the thinner ones. So let's get started on that. I'm dumping on a very generous amount and then I'm gonna be using my big foam brush to spread it all around. I want it to be a really thick base because this is our first coat. I'm thoroughly covering that whole middle section and then I'm also bringing it up to the little peaks that I made with the metallic paint and silver. I'm covering it up just a little bit, but not all the way down. You don't want to cover up every little brush stroke we did. And then putting all the chunky sparkles on top of that nice glue. So now I'm taking a dry clean brush and just brushing off the sparkles on the edge we just did so we can see where they actually stuck down and see what edges they're going to look like so we can move on to the next step of putting on the finer sparkles. 
This one is a super gloss and it is actually quite a different texture than the other one. It's a lot more runny and a lot more glass-like. So I'm using this one, I'm putting it down into the texture and just on the edge. So the combination of the extra fine glitter and the super gloss, it becomes like this metal finish. It kind of like molds together and becomes this really cool like molten metal finish. Now again with the super gloss, I'm doing like thick drip strokes. So it'll have some really neat texture when I'm gonna put on the day glow. So this is our third layer of sparkles. We did the chunky sparkles, we did the thin silver sparkles, and now this is gonna be the day glow ones to go on top of this thick drip like texture. So once that is dry, I'm just brushing off the excess sparkles that didn't stick and then I'm using the Mod Podge clear sealer and gloss and then I'm doing little itty bitty sprays so it won't blow what sparkles didn't stick all over and get stuck where you didn't want them. So just spray, spray, spray and then you can go over the whole thing after it's stuck down. I felt like it needed a little bit more of the brush strokes, so I'm going back in on it with the silver metallic paint again and going over a little bit of the day glow sparkles and then onto the metallic pearl paint on the bottom of that. So Alexa just texted me, she's here to pick up her painting. She doesn't know I put it on the wall because I wanted to show her what it'll look like in the lights and how it looks hung up. So hopefully she likes it. I'm excited. Hey! hey. hey. Where's, hi! Where's, where's my works? Where's my artwork? What? <laughs> what? You are amazing. How is this the same painting? <laughs> show blue when there's tons of light on it otherwise it's just kind of clear so cool yeah i love that yeah awesome <laughs> like it yes oh, i'm so happy i'm so glad she let me zhuzh up her painting i'm so glad she likes it <laughs> <laughs> i love it so good i'm so happy i got to keep her texture so when i was scraping it off i noticed some wasn't coming off i didn't want to take it all off because when i started putting on the first coat of paint it actually was really cool because it was um, a metallic paint. It's like a pearl on the bottom. Oh, yeah. And so the sparkles and leftover um, texture on the canvas 
actually made it really cool and it gave it even more texture. Yeah. It made my painting better because <laughs> you did it first. Awesome. So <laughs> teamwork. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm still obsessed with the snowman texture. So yeah. like literally it's snowman texture. Oh the yeah. The top of it. It's so cool. And then I this time the sparkles will not come off because I sprayed it with like a, a spray oh. sealer. So moral of the story, screw up your canvas first and then so you can take it to Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> so I can fix it. Even better. <laughs> okay, so I will link her Instagram below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, turn on your little notification bell, and you will get notified every time I upload a video and subscribe to Bestie. <laughs> See you on the next. Bye. Is it my place? Isn't already inspired by all of Crystal's DIYs. Ta-da! Now I get to think about her every night before I go to bed because she fixed my canvas better than I thought. I cannot believe what a good job. Should I get my throw it? Yeah. Okay. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> Subscribe to my bestie! <laughs>